world has once again turned its attention to Yellowstone National Park, United States. A rare phenomenon was captured on the park's official surveillance cameras. A hydrothermal pool called Black Diamond Pool, which had appeared calm for years, suddenly erupted hot mud into the air. This incident occurred earlier this year as Yellowstone entered winter, and for the first time in history, the eruption was clearly captured by a webcam. Black Diamond Pool is located in the Upper Geyser Basin, not far from Yellowstone's famous geyser area. For years, this pool was known for its hot, dark water and relatively calm. It doesn't actively erupt like other large geysers. However, Yellowstone is more than just a national park. It is the world's largest hydrothermal system, with more than 10,000 thermal features, thousands of steam vents, and extreme heat pressure from beneath the Earth's surface. Black Diamond Pool is connected to pockets of superheated water, volcanic gases, and an active rock fissure system. This means that the calm on the surface doesn't always reflect the conditions beneath. An official webcam has captured clear images of a muddy eruption at Black Diamond Pool, one of Yellowstone National Park's most active hydrothermal pools for the first time. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory's webcam captured a dirty eruption that occurred on the morning of December 20th at Black Diamond Pool in the park's Biscuit Basin. The footage shows a mixture of superheated water, mud, rocks, and debris being ejected approximately 30 to 40 feet into the air. A dirty eruption is a type of hydrothermal explosion that includes mud and solid material as well as hot water. The U.S. Geological Survey USGS, shared the video which shows mud erupting from the dark pool just before 9.23 a.m. local time. In a caption accompanying the webcam footage on social media, USGS volcanoes described the eruption simply as kablooey. According to officials, this is the first time one of Black Diamond Pool's recent eruptions has been clearly captured on camera. Other eruptions in recent months have mostly been heard rather than seen, as they occurred at night or when the webcam view was obscured by ice. The footage of these eruptions emerged after researchers installed new cameras and a seismic acoustic monitoring station at Biscuit Basin. These instruments, along with temperature sensors managed by the Yellowstone National Park Geology Program, provide a better ability to detect and characterize these eruptions. This new webcam setup proved effective in recording the recent eruption. We got a clear view of one of these dirty eruptions under a clear blue sky with the surrounding area covered in snow. Ah, winter in Yellowstone, USGS Volcanoes wrote on social media. A great example of the type of activity that has been occurring at Black Diamond Pool over the past 19 months. Black Diamond Pool was the site of a much larger hydrothermal eruption in July 2024, which sent rocks and mud hundreds of feet into the air and damaged a nearby trail. The damage led to the area's closure to visitors due to safety concerns and the risk of further activity. Smaller, dirty eruptions, reaching heights of up to about 40 feet, have occurred sporadically since then. Let's examine the varying fluid viscosities in Yellowstone, starting with the mantle beneath the volcanic field. On a human timescale, the mantle would be considered a solid body, but on a timescale of thousands to millions of years, mantle flow at rates of centimeters per year is the engine that drives plate tectonics and the volcanism of Yellowstone's hotspot. Deepening into the crust above the mantle, magnetotelluric and seismic imagery indicates that rhyolite and basalt magmas are both present there at depths ranging from about 4 km to about 50 km below the surface, rhyolite magma is characterized by relatively high viscosity, while basalt has a low viscosity. The high silica content of rhyolite makes it viscous and prevents gases from escaping easily, which can lead to explosive eruptions like the one that formed the Lava Creek Tuff and resulted in the collapse of the Yellowstone caldera. However, not all rhyolite eruptions in Yellowstone are explosive. The Yellowstone caldera is largely filled by very thick rhyolite lava flows. Because rhyolite is so viscous, this lava may take months to years to settle and cool. Yellowstone rhyolite has a characteristic texture that records how lava flows developed. Basaltic lava is found only outside the Yellowstone caldera, much of it in the northern part of the park near Mammoth Hot Springs. Basaltic lava is also common in the Snake River Plain and Craters of the Moon, west of Yellowstone National Park in Idaho. 
Basalt has a lower silica content than rhyolite and is therefore less viscous. Basaltic lava flows can travel hundreds of kilometers from their source under certain conditions. Until about 14,000 years ago, Yellowstone was covered by glaciers for thousands of years. Like the Earth's mantle, the ice that formed these glaciers appears solid on a human timescale, but over longer timescales, the ice can flow. As the glaciers retreat and the ice solid water melts, large amounts of low viscosity liquid water are formed. Water viscosity decreases with increasing temperature. At 93 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, the boiling point of pure water at Yellowstone's altitude, water is almost six times thinner than at temperatures just above freezing, 0 degrees Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. Although viscosity increases when materials are present in the water, as in hot mud, the steam formed when water boils in hot springs has a viscosity about 25 times lower than liquid water at the same temperature, meaning that the steam emitted from geysers has much less resistance to flow than the accompanying liquid water. One of Yellowstone's many unique phenomena is molten sulfur flows, such as those in Brimstone Basin near the eastern shore of Yellowstone Lake. These sulfur flows likely form when natural sulfur deposits burn during wildfires at temperatures of at least 113 degrees Celsius, 235 Fahrenheit, the boiling point of pure sulfur. Molten sulfur has a viscosity only about 10 times greater than that of water. However, tree remains and other debris within the flow will make it slightly more viscous. Yellowstone is undoubtedly one of the most dynamic places on Earth. The diverse fluids flowing between the mantle and the atmosphere produce explosive volcanic eruptions and geysers, create lava flows, bubbling mud pools, and extremely rare sulfur flows, and cover nearly the entire range of possible material viscosities. These fluids transport enormous amounts of heat and mass from deep within the Earth, and ultimately into the atmosphere, helping to make Yellowstone's thermal features and the life within it a natural wonder.